What's going on, potheads? And welcome to the freshest episode of Two Homies Chatting. We're drinking more beers this episode, and we hope you're drinking beers with us. So grab a cold one, crack it open, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Recorded live via Zencast. Two, two Homies Chatting. Chatting. Podcast THC. Two Homies Chatting. Nothing really happening in your division other than old Kenny Pickett's getting picked. Yeah, he's sticking to Pittsburgh. Tell me, is this a better? Is this a better camera view for you? Like. Yeah, little, I like is that it. More friendly? I, I'm always trying to figure that out because I, I can't tell if I'm like looking down. I can't tell if I'm like looking up. I can't tell if I'm like. Yeah, I'm I might be like you looking know. up a lot. I'm not a big fan of it. I mean, it's really just me and you. This this camera is like I know the camera's right here. I'm not looking into it while I'm talking to you. No, because you're right here on my camera or on my on my screen. So I'm like. There's Ken. My camera's over here. So, if, I mean, I think if we were more like webcast, I think I would be more like into, hi, what's up? This is Trace. You're more caring Ken. about like with two, two homies two chatting. Homies chatting. <laughs> with, yeah, like like staring into it. the abyss. Yeah, yeah, I just try to position it in a good spot. Like I like to put you on the full screen. So I got you like pretty talk- large and in charge. I'm, so bro. I put you put you in the large large view there, so that you know it's like we hanging out, like you sitting across. Yeah, That's, like we're um, chatting, like yeah, we're, like, like we're two, like we're two homies chatting. Yeah, like you might run into us at a you know at a bar chatting, at a speakeasy. Maybe you might you might bump into us there, and we just be chatting. Yeah, I will say it's yeah, what we're doing this- here. On this, yeah. on this show, it's just chatting. Just drinking. chatting, just hanging out, having a couple of beers, right? Really quick, you know, before we dive in to, uh, you know, I want to give a shout out to a specific speakeasy, like you said. I think that that was a, a nice little low key reference. Okay. Yo, but you I'm, went to I'm one gonna... recently, right? Yeah, today I did, but maybe but I got these C- CMs rolling. So here, real quick, um, in honor of NFL draft day. Okay, and this is this is a reference for my uh, ESPN Sports Center Monday Night Football countdown, Monday Night Countdown. You know who I'm talking about? Chris Berman, Tom Jackson, and Chris Berman used to have a nickname. Kenny, do you remember the nickname Chris Berman Swami? used to go by? The Swami. I know, and Berman. I got I'm here. A out of brewed and canned by Pizza Port Brewing Company. And I reached out on this, okay? I, I saw this and I said I had to do it. I had to pull the trigger to start it off. I love okay? it. Yeah. This is out of Carlsbad, California. I love it. I got Swami's Indian Pale Ale. Nobody circles the wagon like Chris Berman. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to the 2022 NFL Draft. Two homies chatting. Somewhat special. We're going to talk about it a little bit. But I just want to get the music got me all pump, pumped. Oh, but uh, yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Good I job. saw it's Swami's. And I had to, I had to give a shout out to my guy, a legend, uh, somebody who who we grew up watching on the television, who taught us football. Somebody who has taught us football. Cheers, cheers. I drink NFL to that, season's man. here, brother. I will drink to that. It starts today. Uh, my brownies, they don't got to pick today, so it starts tomorrow for them. But uh, that's a great number one pick by you, the Swami. Um, that's nice. I like that. I like that. It says here, good beer brings good cheer, Ken. 
good beer, beer brings good cheer. I don't think you guys missed anything on day one. But, you know, before we, we dive into that, one, I want to know what you're sipping on because that's, yeah. that's a crucial element. So I got to, a fresh one. I got a fresh one here ooh. from Moab Brewery, a, a friend ooh, of the program, out. friend of the show, Moab Brewery. Um, it's, I, it's called um, <clears throat> Bougie Johnny's Rose Ale. Oh, I'm hit you with that, and and I was like undecided at first, but uh, it, it's uh, it's got like a little, it's brewed with like grape juice. Um, oh, and like so, in a winery, like uh, it's a it's beer bougie. brewed with grape juice and hibiscus flour. And oh, I shit. just was like, oh, bougie, yeah, yeah, ooh, ah, oh, so I'm on purple drink. Ooh, it's purple. Yo, is it for real? That's kind of sick. That's sick. Yo, if anybody's listening to this podcast, yeah, it's got that little haze to it, that little purple. Ooh, I see that. I see that in the light. I see what you're talking about. If anybody's listening to this podcast, one, we appreciate you. Make sure you like, subscribe, follow, send it to the homie. We, we you know, definitely check out the Earth Day episode. We hope everybody enjoys that one. <laughs> check out the YouTube channel where Ken... Giz the blazed and glaze the taste test. But Moab is possibly it's it's in my top three dopest spots in Utah, right? I mean Tory Tory, Utah, where Capitol Reef is, is definitely number one. Like I just think that's like a little but Moab is dope the dopest town in Utah for sure. Like without a doubt. Go go to Moab. Go to Moab <laughs> Brewery. It's a great venue, a great little spot. I stole a glass from there once. I think somebody left it, but I took it. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, shout out to Moab Brewery. Always coming with the good beers. Iconic photo of me at my wedding with, with uh, you guys. And we're holding Johnny's IPA there. And um, it should probably be on a billboard, but it's a good one and a good beer. A great brewery. So I think some of those beers were supplied by uh, by Pops, right? Yeah, didn't didn't uh, those? That was a fun fucking. That was a fun wedding. You guys had a good wedding. That was a good time. That's all we wanted to do. Yeah, I had a good time. That was fun. That was fun. I'm pretty sure, uh, from what I recall, Pops, me, Pops, and Andrew ran out and played the the 18th hole for free. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, with the clubs before the wedding. Yeah. yeah. That was a great time. Great. great time. But yeah, we had a great time today, dude. You know, uh, you know, before the draft kicked off, me and Devery, we this this new spot at the uh uh at this bar called Loyal Legion, right? Uh, they opened up a they have so they have two locations. They have one in downtown Portland, and then we went to the one in Beaverton, which is built in this nineteen thirty Beaverton Bank. It used to be called the Beaverton Bank. And like you can see in this bar, um, they have like these crystallized windows where the they're perfect bank teller windows. Like when you walk in on the right, it's like they they put glass in there, but like the way that they're built by brick, they're perfect bank teller windows. Like you can nice. tell that that's where they did it. And then, yeah, today they opened up for the first day ever. We had the first reservation at this speakeasy that they opened up in the top where you have to go through, like, this door, meet a person. They walk you up these stairs, chill, little small bar, little nice fancy cocktail menu, not great playlist um, called Flora was the name of the speakeasy, Flora. And that was fun. Flora. It was a good time today. Yeah, Flora. good time today. That's cool. I didn't know that speakeasies were a thing still. And um, apparently you've been to one that's in a hospital. And that'd be a cool hostel. A hostel. Oh, you know, that makes uh, more you know, sense. Those hotels yeah, where everybody can. Sense. Yeah, that makes more hostel. sense. Hostel. So I was like, why I've been hostel? to a. Like, how did they get the permit for that? Yeah, I've been to a few around the country, right? Like, cause it's a cool thing to kind of, you know, Utah has one that's really dope. We've talked about it on the podcast before a little bit called the rest. 
Um, I've been to a couple in like Austin, Texas, uh, Louisville, Kentucky, Nashville, um, a couple in Portland already. Like I've been to Circa 33, which is now closed, but that was like behind a bookshelf. Um, and then um, another one called The Bible Study, I think, or Bible Club, maybe. And that that's, one was just like a, a that's house. I saw that. I saw that listed. Yeah. That that was on the top five. That was cool. It, it's a cool vibe. Yeah, it's just a house. It's just yeah. like a house, and you yeah. don't even know that if you're walking up to the right spot. But yeah, that's it's just something more, something cool to do. Yeah. It seems like that's catching more energy. You know, like kind of one of those. You know, everything recycles itself, right? Like you're walking yeah, around town. That's true. You're seeing kids with like I got I got my niece. My 16, she about to be 16 years old and she rocking bell bottoms. And I'm like, girl, them, them shits ain't back. Them shit, them shits ain't back. They ain't making a comeback. They ain't doing none of that. Like, but the, everything's just recycling itself. And I think when, when you got like something cool, like prohibition and the history of, of alcohol in America, you, people got to go back to leverage it. What makes you unique? You know, like I told you the rest in Salt Lake. Is one of the coolest, if not the coolest bar in Salt Lake, easily. Like, but it's unique, you know. So keep that keep that unique vibe going. That'll... I like that. Yeah, I'm all about that. Yeah, you know. What's up, Hank? Hank, don't hate my heart, my hanky panky heart. But yeah, dude, we we like to, you know, as we've talked about on this podcast, we like to give our our dollars to local businesses. Yeah. And yeah, we're all about brand, that. A brand new business. First, I want to give a, a shout out. I went, we went at about four fifteen. Our our reservation for the uh the was it uh, a four twenty reservation? It was at five. Uh-huh. Um they, they started at five, but they had happy hour from three to five. We went, got ourselves two ciders. Uh, ciders Bav- bavarian pretzel with cheese mm. and a smash burger man and uh that shit cost me twenty dollars so that seems um, affordable that's like crack prices baby that's so cheap i fucking buy that shit all over left and right i go there so we went for happy hour crushed the happy hour and then we went up for some fancy cocktails it was nice it was nice nice Nice. It was a twofer. Nice. It was a twofer. We enjoyed both establishments. I think as a veteran move, I, I didn't know that you were like Al Capone and shit, man. Speakeasies and stuff, man. I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. Secret, secret handshakes, knocks and things to get in. Door Bro, guys. I will tell you. I'll tell you something cool, though. All right. Okay, tell me this something is, cool. This, this is on my, you talk about Al Capone, all right? So when we were in um, Hot Springs, Arkansas. Okay. Hot Springs, Arkansas, some of our listeners might know is is home of William Clinton, which uh we did ask how many people he's murdered in town and there's a running joke of how many people uh, he's actually murdered in that town. It's kind of funny. But what's the joke? We went to, It's a lot. The number just everybody just gives a different high volume number. Like a uh, lady at the hotel was like 50, a person at the gift shop was like 40. You're like, God damn, that's a lot of people. Um, nice. But we went to this place called the Ohio Club, all right, which wasn't a speakeasy when we went there, but it was back in the day in the 20s and the 30s. And it was what they say. Um, now, again, this is just what they talk about. But, like, it was one of the – like how the Ohio Club used to be ran back in Prohibition was one of the inspirations to how Vegas used to – Vegas started. was like the gambling. And when you get into the restaurant, you can see where they used to have a brick wall put straight up. They, there's like all this history in the restaurant. Oh, nice. And yeah, there used cool. to be like this brick wall like right when you walked in because they – it was a – you know, they had to hide it the whole time back then. But – yeah, if anybody's ever in Arkansas, Hot Springs, check out the Ohio Club. Great, a great burger, solid. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, go go support a nice, nice uh, speakeasy. Go enjoy something like that. That's fun stuff. That's fun shit. I'm gonna give it a shot. I'll I'll give it a try. Give
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. I've learned to try that. Probably, yeah. Yeah. Wait on things, you know. I mean, if I if I think I, if I would have known what I wanted to do a little more in college, like, all right, like uh, real talk, I'm about to turn 35 and I still don't know what the fuck I want to do with my life. But like, if you I would know what, what I wanted about? to do, I'm doing something that allows me to survive. But it wasn't something like, you know, when you grow up, you're like, oh, I want to be a cop. I want to be a firefighter. I want to be a Ninja Turtle. I want to be all these things. You inspire. I will be a dentist, a doctor, a lawyer, all this shit. Never in my life was like, oh, I want to be Al Bundy. <laughs> Not one time. Is that who you are now? I'm fucking digital Al Bundy, baby. Yeah? You selling shoes? Is that what you're referencing? <laughs> straight, straight selling kicks, is that, a, is, that a, is that a women's <laughs> shoe reference that you sell women's shoes? Yeah. Is that what that is? <laughs> yeah. I was trying to understand yeah. that. That, that kind of oh. came out of nowhere for me. That ref, and so I was trying to make the connection. So I, I'm sorry to just spill the beans there. Um, but... No, you're good, dude. You're At the end good. of the day, you just you just till your piece of the earth and try to be one with your surroundings and nature, and that's that's all there is to it. So, whatever it is yeah. you're doing, just do it the best you can, and try to live in harmony with uh, your surroundings. And I think you're doing the right things. What's uh What's the score right now? That jazz game tied up now at eighty eight. Oh, so, tight butthole. Fucking Luca. Yeah. Huh? Rudy Gobert made the slam a dunk and everybody went to crazy. Can That's I tell happened. you something? I yeah. think this is what I think. All right. And, and I, I want you to embrace what I'm about to communicate to you because I all have right. a feeling that you're going to be disappointed in this playoff series. Not anything other than the fact that. I think that the Jazz had their little window of two years with the roster that they have constructed now, and now they have to evolve. Now, one thing I think that's a positive is you now have Danny Ainge, okay? Yes. And Uncle I don't care what Danny. anybody, I don't care what anybody says, but if you look at this Celtics roster. That is number one in defense and has been the number one team in the NBA since January 1st. Not only that, but Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown together have been to already two Eastern Conference finals. So if you look at this team, the entire team's constructed by Danny Ainge. That's right. Jason Tatum drafted by Danny. Jalen Brown right. drafted by Danny. Robert right. Williams III. Peyton Pritchard. Uh, Grant Williams, Marcus Smart. Uh, 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 I mean, it's, I feel like I'm missing somebody right now off the top of my head, but I can't think of it. So it's like, if you look at this whole team, it was constructed by Danny. So like the Jazz, I think what you have to do is you ship off Gobert because he's a bitch. No offense to Gobert, but no the take. softest the softest seven-footer I've ever seen since Sean Bradley. Um, I know it's probably a rough reference because of what happened to him, but I hope you're doing well, bro. I hope you, you know, if you're out there, you know, cause he got paralyzed and shit. Yeah. So yeah. That's a rough, rough break, but he is Rudy Gobert soft as fuck. And so you ship off him, build around Donovan, get rid of maybe Royce O'Neal, get picks. Because if you think right now, when we traded uh, uh, Paul Pierce and Kevin Garnett to the Brooklyn Nets, the two first round picks we got are Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. Those are our picks now. So I'm just saying he's going to get you wing defend. He's going to get you them them lengthy wing guys oh. that can defend hey, Danny. one through four. Hey, Danny. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> they just showed him on the telly. <laughs> But I think Uncle I Danny. think that's that's what the uh, Jazz yeah, think, need, dude. I think that's what's going to happen. That's a lot of talk. I think about you're in that. good hands, like Allstate. That's right. That's the that's the move, right? So new ownership, new ownership group with Dwayne Wade, Danny Ainge, calling the shots. I think you're right. In good hands, but 
definite changes to come. And I think that you're right about the build around Donovan. And I think other than him, all pieces are movable. I I will say this, though. If the New York Knicks give you the house for Donovan Mitchell, I fucking take it. Because yeah, Donovan, yeah. Donovan Mitchell, and, and this is... This is this is he hasn't done it yet. Nothing against him. He's he's like he's not a Batman and he's not a Robin. He's like the arrow. <laughs> like he's his own independent individual superhero, but he's just not as powerful to be relevant in every household. He's silver surfer. Yeah, kind of some shit like that. Like you he's know? cool. He's cool. He's good. Occasionally he saves the day, but like not as much as Spider-Man. Not as much as Spider-Man. That's tough with the spider nickname. Sorry, bro. Yeah. Should have been Silver. Silver. (laughs) Silver Surfer Man. Silver Mitchell. Silver Mitchell. I like the spider. I like the spider. I think he's, I think he'll get there. He's young and I think he'll get there, but it's a little unsettling the performance when the game is late, like when we're down by one with three minutes and 20 seconds left in the game and you need the plays, you need the shots. Oh, Mark Cuban, sit down. You're great. You're good at what you do. It's fine. Just sit down. What you doing is no, no, you're fine. You're fine, man. You're cool. It's tough, dude. Oof, it's see, tough there because goes. you Rips. guys like peaked. Did, didn't you peak in the bubble too? The bubble. That was the Jamal Murray face off with the nuggets yeah the mitchell yeah and that was i think you're right that was the team <sighs> that's tough that's tough yeah i think that's the thing is is now you know like i i hate to be this person but it, it does seem like you kind of have to put an asterisk on that lakers championship because when you take I mean, you could do the same thing to Tom Brady seventh. I mean, you really could. And like, I mean, when you, I mean, there was like a, I think there was like ten thousand fans at that one or something like that. But like, when you take that environment out, I don't know, man. I think, I think that's especially after watching the new man of the arena and Gronk's like, man, when we played the Saints in Game One, you could hear a pin drop, you know, and it's like you, you're not beating anybody ferociously in those environments, like. You're not getting loud points, you know, those loud three pointers. And there's the whole energy factor too, like that the crowd can yeah. bring. That some people feed off of, like a a visiting team's hate. Some people will feed off of that and reach another John level Morant of performance. Like yeah, so it's like, yeah, you take that away, you miss that element for sure. Down three. I know. Are you guys down more than that? I got the I got the game cast up. Uh, Donovan Mitchell was shooting free throws when I left. Um, now we're at commercial oh, break, and are you showing? Yeah, they're showing me how tequila is made by hand. So, can can you let me ask you something? All right, please. You know, before we go in, you know, I know it's draft night. I'm 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 getting time for, for draft there. pick number two. I'm ready. I'm ready for draft pick number two. Um, how how do you like the Celtics Bucks series, bro? How do you how do you like, oh. how do you feel how do you think how do you think this Celtics Bucks series is gonna pan it's out? It's gonna be some. the it's gonna be the best so far, dude. Your Celtics are hot right now, Yo. hot and healthy, and Lockdown. the Bucks aren't gonna have Chris Middleton, right? The, so, the Celtic assassin, bro. That dude exactly. kills us so every Kryptonite fucking time. Kryptonite is benched somehow, and so honestly, the Celtics have a path now uh, to get to the finals for sure, like. That, that 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 door opened um, with that injury. So that, that's interesting. That heat, that heat Sixers. I, still, I need that heat Sixers to, see, to go seven. Yeah, I'm still looking to see Giannis play though, because he he, I think, is that type of player at that point in his career where he could have a takeover series, and the Celtics might not be able to do anything about see, it. Like nobody think, could be in the way. I don't, I don't know. I think that's Tatum. I think that's Tatum right now. I he's, think Tatum yeah. showed in yeah. that Brooklyn series that he's he's ready. Like that's the thing. It's like it's not like he's they been there before. He hit his so first like buzzer now, beater, right? First, yeah, I think first playoff buzzer beater. Um, might have been second. I think he might have hit one when he was younger. Um, 
But like, that's the thing. It's like, it's not like we have been there. Now we just have the right pieces. We have the right depth. Everybody plays lockdown defense. I've never seen a NBA team play defense the way they do. Like, I mean, I haven't seen that since maybe Detroit with Ben Wallace. Those been that, that championship Detroit, Chauncey yeah. Billup, Rasheed Wallace, Ben Wallace, uh, Rip Hamilton, uh, that kind of came out. They were just locking everybody up. That I mean, it's tough to you. I think the Celtics are going to win it all, but I definitely think – I think if the Celtics win it all, right, I think it's one of the greatest paths to a championship because you had to go through Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, which we're definitely going to talk about some of that shit. Got to go through Giannis Dude, in his fucking ultimate prime. <laughs> The yeah, ultimate sure. prime. Then probably the Heat. And that Heat that Heat roster is loaded. That They're no joke. That's and, a good team. And what's uh, the coach, right? Uh, Spolstra. Spolstra. I mean, that's top three coach in the NBA uh-huh. the last yeah. 10 years. They're a really he good team, man. Be. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Damn, y'all are down three still? 47 seconds left? What you got, Ken? You're ahead of me. We're down with 50 seconds left, and yeah, 94, 97, and I think Royce I just O'Neal got, the... got hurt. Royce O'Neal just got like maybe elbowed in personal the face, foul? Or maybe he personal flopped. foul. It's saying he got the foul. I don't know. Everybody looks really tense in that arena. Oh, because it's in Utah too. Oh man. Yeah, I mean, if it's and it's season's over, if if it's a loss and there's less than a minute left, and here we go, Luca's at the top of the key, bouncing with the left hand, he's gonna pull up for a three pointer, and it's no good. He misses. Donovan gets the rebound. And oh, here's, here's Rudy makes the position. layup, and Rudy makes the layup. Ah! That's great. Luca misses. Luca misses kind of, again. It was a, it was a really soft dunk. That's great. Luca misses again. Oh boy, it's getting, getting wild. Oh, dude. Five, five, I got five seconds on the game cast. 97, 96 Mavs over the Jazz. Right now. Right now. Is is are have we just been talking about that? Is Spider? Where you at, Spider? Here he goes with the ball down. Conley's going to drive, and he's getting locked up. Kick out to Boyan. They're going to call Mike Conley for the travel. And that's what? a turnover with five seconds left, down by one. Are you kidding me, dude? That's Mike a weak Conley. sauce call. That's a weak call. That was not a travel. Do we have a review? Can you look at that again? I didn't see that. That was There ain't no foot movement there. What's they, what are they talking about? That's a $26 million travel. Are you kidding? I, I don't think that. I didn't think that was a travel. And now we've moved on. So it's really, that's, I'm, I'm still processing that. That's a kind of, that's kind of weak. I think that's, you know, oh, they Danny did the same stressed. thing. Oh, man. They did the same thing in the, in the Celtics game. In game uh, four against, they found. I mean, they fouled Jason Tatum out. Refs come in, fouled Jason Tatum out with like four and a half to go uh, on something that wasn't a foul, not not an offensive foul. They called an offensive foul on Jason Tatum to foul him out. So you were like, "Oh man, are you why why are you implementing yourself into the game?" All right, dude. Hey, you guys got a chance. Because uh, Brunson just missed one of the two. If he misses so. this one, everybody in the arena 98, gets 98, 96. 98, 96. Oh, everybody in attendance gets free Chick-fil-A. Whoop, 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 whoop. That's the thing there. Jazz, full timeout, 4.3 seconds. I'm watching this on GameCast, dog, and I'm fucking tense. You're, you're watching humans. I'm watching just text. Oh, I'm- I'm behind. Does he make this one? Sorry, nobody gets Chick-fil-A. 
Yeah, nobody gets Chick Fil A. Sorry, I I won't. Uh, oh, I'll, I'll wait for your I'll wait for your reaction here because you're watching. No, no, let's have another beer. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Where are we at, by the way? What's our time? Check it. It's we're we're in, dude. We should be at. We should be done with number two on, on target. Ah, right, yeah, behind. we should be. Okay, we're going to crush these beers, all right? So you go right. first. Let's crush this shit. All Come right. on, baby. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> I'm gonna, Then I'm going to call a sub, then, because if we're going to crush this one to catch up, um, I need the most crushable beer I've ever had in my life from a staple of the Utah beer scene, Squatters Brewing, their juicy IPA in the flesh. Ah. This is the good stuff here. This is what I'm all about. Okay. If we're going if we're going down the crush city, bro. I'm going by crush, I mean, you know. Yeah, 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 quickly, yeah. I, you, know, I, res- you know, responsibly. I'm going with uh out of bend, out of bend, Oregon. Right? Uh uh yep. Oh no! Sorry, Sun River, out of Sun River, Oregon. Oh um, shit, Sun River. This West Coast IPA. Oh, that's weird because that's not what it says on here. Um, this vicious mosquito is what I got. This vicious mosquito. Mosquito. Um, what, is it an ale? Is it a lager? Is it a pill? It says what it's an it? Indian pale ale. And then on nice. the side it said oh. it was a West Coast. Oh. What happened? <sighs> Season's over. What happened, man. dude? It's over. Did you did you make the it's shot over. after the buzzer? No. What happened? Um, you seem pumped. Well, Boyan, they found Boyan um, in the corner there at the top of the key in the corner, and he had a pump fake, juked a guy, had time, had a wide open look. No one within 15 feet of him. Great look, squared up, and missed. Missed? Missed. So Missed. So wide 98, open. 98, 96 is your final and that's the end. Oh, no one around. Great look, Brick. Damn it. For real? It's a rough one. That's man. an eight. That's an eighteen point seven million dollar miss right there, brother. Yeah, that's a tough one. Man. Eighteen eighteen point seven million dollars. That dude got paid. Missed that shot. You know, you know how irrational that number is. What number? Like I like that th- that dude gets eighteen million dollars a year. Who does Bogdan Bogdanovich? Oh yeah, yeah. That's um, that. That ain't right. That ain't right. No. Eighteen million. No, these that's... dudes. These dudes make way too much money. Yeah, I mean, you know, shit, dude, shit, fucking shit. Hey, hey, it's I, all right. All it's I right. know, all I know, it wasn't, that's it why, wasn't the juice this year, anyway. So, yeah, you know, it's all good. I, I mean, I kind of was trying to prep you. I was just trying to say, like, Kenny, this is gonna happen. Oh yeah, I mean, but you have you have Danny Ainge, yeah, and you're gonna get this Celtics roster that you have that you see in front of you right now. It's great. That's that's exactly why he is where he is, and he should be here in Utah. And I I hope that he returns my calls, and uh, I hope that we can get out for that round of golf sometime. Let's see the. Yep. Oh, I can't believe they called that a travel. That's what I was saying. That's I did not think that that. Oh. Was kind of a travel. Wow, that's that's putting your hand in the cookie jar, man. It's putting your hand in the cookie jar. I don't like that.
Oh, all right, Ken. We just picked our second draft pick of the night. The second draft pick of tonight, which I'm not a Michigan Wolverine guy, all right? I despise the school. I appreciate that they produced Tom Brady. Cool. But, you know, outside of that, I hope Michigan loses in every possible uh, opportunity that they have. But I do find it cool that Aiden Hutchinson of Michigan gets drafted by the Detroit Lions. So he stays in Michigan. I think that's kind of neat. I think that's kind of cool. Yeah, I think that is really cool when that happens. That's kind of like your boy Denzel Ward. Um, who grew up in Cleveland Heights, I believe, and then attended the Ohio State University and then was drafted by the Cleveland Browns. Um, I think also interesting in the draft, uh, Pickett out of Pittsburgh gets selected 18th, I think, by the Pittsburgh Steelers. I, that, that number needs to be fact checked by Hector, but um, I got you. I got you. I got you. Uh, 18. Nope, we got him at 20 by the Steelers. Um, pretty yeah, close. I thought I, I will say I walked away uh, today going like, man, the Jets didn't fuck up. You know, usually when I think of the New York Jets, I think of the phrase just in the season but when you go get yourself a guy that goes by the name of sauce the dude by the name of sauce gardner is, is what is what he goes by is his first name is sauce i like and that then then you go pick up the best wide receiver out of the ohio state university here wilson and then you're like oh Right. Maybe Zach, maybe maybe a Wilson to Wilson connection, but then you're like, oh wait, you guys have Zach Wilson, so <laughs> the Jets uh-huh. will never be anything. No, um, that's too. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's unfortunate, but um, you know. Oops. Yeah, I'm, I'm. You know, I'm real concerned about a few things, Ken. But uh, the draft overall, I will say, I had a. Uh, I have my boy Mike Reese on Bleacher Report hit hit it up with the uh, hey for all Patriot fans estimated time of pick one was going to be seven fifty uh, my time right PST Pacific Standard um and uh, I will say that like it was like seven twenty when we traded back. And Bill went and got himself a second and a third. What you ordering some? Uh, you ordering some wings? No, no, I could go for some fucking wings though. I'm gonna tell you what. I was actually thinking about it. Actually, um, they open late too. I mean, should we race? I mean, I don't think they'll get here before the show's over. I mean, probably not. Let me just see. Maybe ours isn't uh, as open late. Oh no, it's open till eleven. Mm. Well, um, yeah, man. Even you remember? I was just looking up like, Cole oh, Strange, it's got like a, a three point seven, and then I when I looked on their like ordering app, it was like a three point four. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice, Cole Strange out of Chattanooga. Yeah, um, Chattanooga. Yo, Bill. Bill's focus on that O line because we're we're uh, we we don't have a lot there. Um, yeah, get better there. Yeah, yeah. He's focused on that O O line, but uh, yeah. He they got him uh, early. Um, with the uh, I think they quoted him and said like, oh, he wasn't going to stay on the board much longer. So this guy was highly sought out. But a lot of trades, dude. AJ Brown gets traded. Right? Didn't AJ Brown get traded to the Jets? Isn't that yeah, what happened? I think that's true. I think got I got a hundred million dollar deal. So now the Jets have AJ Brown and Garrett Wilson with no quarterback at all. Um, then you got uh, uh, Marque- Marquise Brown, Hollywood Brown from the Ravens, right. got the traded Eagles, to the Cardinals. The Eagles, acquired. or was the Eagles right? Eagles AJ Brown to the Eagles. AJ Brown. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, so that's an interesting move there. 
So now you got, and he got a hundred million dollar deal off that. That's what it's all about, dude. It's all about the money. These guys, well, these guys are making yeah. insane money, yeah. insane money. You know, like that's the thing. It's like you can't get upset when you're making a hundred million dollars in four years playing a sport and being like, man, I can't believe these people criticize me. And you're like, it's not like you're taking customer service phone calls where right, they like, literally will criticize you on the phone. I don't know, it's man. Not the like media, the media, your fast is, food. The media's questions are kind of like that. Some worse than that sometimes. That's the only thing I can well, think yeah. of that makes that that the, that whole situation worth what they get paid for is like when I have a bad day at work. And I leave the building. There's not a you don't have to talk there, about it. Yeah, asking me about why I made that decision that time and what I did and what I what what I think about this thing that somebody said on Twitter about me or whatever. So I mean, that's you know, that's that, that, that's that you give up that any privacy. I think you justified live in that there. spotlight, but I don't know if that's equal to for eighteen million dollars or whatever. But maybe it is. I, yeah, I don't know, right? Like, I think, I think there's. Uh, well, how there much is your people, privacy worth? I don't, I don't know. You know, like, like I'm a pretty. I feel like outside of this podcast, which, which I feel like we're pretty vulnerable at times on. I am. <laughs> Are we a, a fairly private person? I don't, I don't know. Like, I mean, I don't post anything on social media all that much i don't yeah like i i mean i don't share my life all too much unless it's with people i know like i'll send you a picture at a golf course or like my brother's a picture at a you know shit like that like if i want to if i want to interact i want to interact with you i don't want to be like within a party or like a third part i don't i don't know i'm just kind of like uh, yeah I feel like i'm pretty sharing, fairly I'm private sharing I'm like you. If I'm sharing things, I want to share them with the people that I know personally. I'm not necessarily yeah. trying to share things with the people I know barely. Exactly. Like, but, in, it, like I mean, I don't know. I just, I agree with you, right? Like, I think it would suck to be criticized by the media at the volume that these guys do. And, and it's, and sometimes in a personal look, way, like too. Like, oh, they attack. They attack. Like oh, it's like yeah. they have something against them. Oh, they, and, they get a reaction. I mean, you heard. Story, you've heard so. that. If you've listened to Rob Parker or Max Kellerman or Nick Wright talk about Tom Brady for the last ten years, and all he's done is won like four championships in that time frame, mm -hmm. like all they've done is just shit on him. He's always, he can't do it. He can't, you know, like, I mean, they just pick a narrative. I thought it was like, um, I think State Farm had a commercial where it was like Kendrick Perkins and he like picked something out. I can't remember what it was. It might have been just an ESPN commercial, but it was like basically he went to this cork board full of ideas, threw a dart on it, and then he gets in front of the camera and he's like, yo, birds aren't real. They're just an illusion or some sh some shit like that. Yeah. And that's literally ESPN. Like the topics that these guys fucking talk about. It's like they just walk into a meeting one day and there's just a bunch of sticky notes. And they're like, all right, this is your position today, Stephen A. Boom. <laughs> right. Just fucking throw a dart at the board because these guys are like, you start questioning things that are so ridiculous. But. I don't make $18 million a year, right? Like I'm, I'm a regular ass everyday American. That's like fucking just living at a, on a week by week basis. I, I, don't, I don't really know how to define that. So like, I don't have that kind of surplus of income. I don't have the ability that if I want to take a vacation, I could go anywhere in the country, stay at any type of place, at any type of level. Like I, I don't have that ability. I don't know. I don't live in that world. No. I, I work behind spreadsheets. I don't dribble a basketball or throw a football for a living. I don't play something that I did in high school 
for a living. So I don't know what that's like. And I feel like the trade-off at times, although can be a little irrational and unfair, is just for the volume of money you're making. Yeah, I, I, it's a lot of money for sure. Like, yeah, because like to your point, it would suck to have a bad day at work, come home, and then have to answer a bunch of fucking questions. Or like, <laughs> like you have a bad day being a dad, or you have right? a bad day being a sibling, <laughs> and and then you got to come home and you got to be like, yeah, man, my fucking my, oh yeah, yeah, you know, I, you know, I mean, I, was, I just I was didn't a have shitty it person. I just didn't have it. <laughs> I that fucking woke call. up, my back hurt, and I was grumpy. Skittles. I couldn't poop. You know, Skittles. like whatever bullshit. <laughs> I'm just here so I don't get fined. Um, <laughs> like whatever bullshit we would have to say. But at the end of the day, we're making whatever, you know, we're not making 18 million dollars. That's all I'm like that's true. These guys are making in a fucking week what we make in like 10 years at times. And Jeez. you're like, yo. I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know the numbers. I'm just, you 10 know. Years, that, that dude, would be... Bogdanovich miss, misses a three to win the game wide open, right? Wide open, okay? Probably hits 90 of those in practice, right? Probably does, yeah. Just if if he was doing a shooting drill, probably hits 90. 90. Like, it's a good look. It's a good look. Good look. Would you say it's a great look? Great look. Better would you say it's better than average look? Like you don't get looks like that often in an NBA game. There was nobody around him. He he so you the dude you flew should have the bench like he was gone. Yeah, he just po- he was, was damn bummer. Yeah, and he's he can shoot the three pointer like Boyan right. Bogdanovich. That's what he gets paid to do, right? That's what he gets paid to do. Shoot threes. He gets eighteen point seven million dollars a year. To do man. that, he actually only gets eighteen point seven this year. I think next year he makes like twenty, and then the year after that he makes like twenty one. Yeah, but better make twenty and twenty one somewhere else. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like now you're pissed. <laughs> now you're like, yo, motherfucker, I'm you're making a pissed. lot of that's money. A biz- that's a business decision. I think you mm-hmm. can get that from a young player. Maybe Dwayne Wade's kid on the cheap. On the cheap, Zaire, right? Just saying. Yeah, he plays for the stars, right? That's right. Bring him up. Yeah, bring him yeah, up. Bring yeah. him up. I think those kids, those kids just got to develop, man. They're just all young and they're on yeah. that social media hype and they, they just got to develop into physical beings. He's too skinny right now to, to, to let, like, you know, cause like when Dwayne, Dwayne Wade came in and he was like two or three years out of college or something like that. Like, like, uh, you know, he went to Marquette for a couple seasons, so it wasn't yeah, like that's he, right. He just came straight out. You know, he came out after like going to the Elite Eight and shit like that. So, uh, yeah, I think that's like a lot of the difference when kids are young and they come out of high school. It's just like physical, like you're you're just physically not as developed as some of these dudes. That have yeah, I mean, some people are Zion Williamson, but most people are not. Yeah, until yeah. later in life. Um, <sighs> Um, I crushed it. I'm going to go on to number three. I'll be there. I'll be there. Level Crossing Brewing Company, South Salt Lake. Uh, I'm, I'm actually excited for this one. This is called Soul Rex. And if you look there, there's a little, it's a T-Rex, a Tyrannosaurus Rex playing an upright. Oh, is that a top hat with a, oh. In, in a fedora, the jazz man hat there. And uh, that's a pretty badass fucking artwork. Shout out Level Crossing. Come yeah, on the show, Level bro. Crossing. Um, double India Pale Ale brewed and canned in South Salt Lake City, Utah. Ah, I hope this Ooh, Soul Rex can heal my pain. Well, I'm going to join you, Ken. Excellent. And I got this beer here. I'm just going to make sure I serve it up right. Okay. Let me just Please. make sure. 
Due diligence. Out of out of Newport. Out of Newport, Newport Oregon. Oregon. Guest of the show before. Rogue. Rogue Brewing. Rogues. Okay. Roguezillas. So I'm gonna read I'm gonna read you a little something before I call Hell title yeah. it up. Okay. Well, actually, you know, I'll just I'll just call it out because they call it out in the article. I thought uh, not article, but on the can. Um, I got I got me here a little hazy, a little hazy because that's how I'm feeling right now. I'm feeling a little hey. lifted because it's hard, yeah. man. Uh, but I got the bat squatch here, Kenny. Ooh. The bat squatch. The bat squatch. <laughs> you know, because the P and W, we love our squatch. Um, but here it goes. You ready? I'm just bear with me. My my eyes are small and the lighting. I did doing a great job. Get a good eye. Get get the read. For years, rumors have circled that deep in the woods on Mount Saint Helen lives a fabled bat squatch. Well, there are many tales of bat squatch. They are all a bit hazy on the details, which makes the truth such a juicy mystery. So what better way to honor the legend than with a hazy, juicy IPA? Mm. Perfect for camping and potentially making a new friend. Pairs well with white cheddar grilled salmon and strawberry shortcake. I love strawberry shortcake. Nice crack. Thanks, dude. Thanks, that was a good dude. read. You did a good job. You did justice. <clears throat> you know, you're very assuring yeah. when you read. You're 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 very good, assuring voice. I, I felt very assured that what you were telling me was true, <laughs> and I could believe it. Well, well the, you know, can can you've he done more the pod often times, more often times than not when I read. Uh, I'm fairly insecure. All right, it's it's not anything other than uh, the fact that um, you know I just grew up uh, in the latter years of my life in a school district that didn't promote such a concept as um, reading. Yeah, <laughs> and so uh, you know, for the most part. Um, I'm usually pretty insecure, but I've made a goal this year and I've been, I've been on par with my goal so far, thus far, uh, of a book a month. And, and so I've been reading a little bit more, a little bit more and I'm feeling more confident with it. So I think, you know, I think I find my, I think I might find my niche, you know, I think I might, you know, put out a couple little, like some reads out of some of these, these, these things and, you know, just see, see what's out there. Maybe you might hear me on the next Boom, boom. Bada, boom, 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 boom. And I'm coming in all Sam Elliott like, you like yourself a Chevy? And you like barbecue pork ribs at the same time? Then get yourself this Chevy 1500. Because like a rock. Juicy ride. <laughs> barbecue ribs. <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's good. Sometimes you eat the bar, and sometimes the bar eats you. <laughs> yeah, you know, like you get fucking mm, taste the Rockies. <laughs> uh, it's a good time, man. It's a good time. You know, I appreciate all these times that we get to spend together. It's pretty nice. Yeah. It's pretty, it's pretty it, nice. It's pretty nice if anybody's listening, which they aren't. Nobody is. It's a fine. But if anybody I know they is. They keep sending the email. I, 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 hope, I hope you're enjoying it because we really are just hanging out for our hour every week that we get to, uh, you know, send send this, this electrical signal across a couple of states have some beers together like homies do, like we've done for many years. Many it's, moons. It's a, it's a treat. It's a treat that we get to just, you know, click, click, boom, boom, zoom, and and click, clack, Zencaster that, 
and then you know we just like click clack zippity zen cast the bat zippity doo dah on the pod bean and it grows into the apple pods and all the all the and, and you know maybe it's maybe it's there for for you to listen to on tuesday when you're stuck in traffic and are thirsty and you want to know what kind of beer you should drink and and maybe it's just for posterity maybe in in 20 years maybe it's just for your kids like your kids like man. yo dad yo dad tell me this isn't you please and and you're gonna be like, like is this you and uncle trace and like, <laughs> yeah yeah that that's yeah. kind of funny because that we were talking about it at the at the bar tonight, right? And I was like, you know, really kind of like my my goal, right, was like, um, to to like get get a hundred episodes. I just think that would be cool. Like, yeah, right? like I'm that's, with you. That's that's a hundred connections, right? Like, in our short life and whatever right? happens, a hundred times we get to put something exactly. out, there, right? Like, exactly. Like, but then Devery's like, well, what if you guys did it till you were like 90 years old? <laughs> Dude. So then I'm like sitting there and like, <laughs> like, hi, y'all. This is true homie society. <laughs> and like, just still ripping it and sipping it. And like, just drinking just beer from a straw. Every Wednesday, just like at this point, it would be like, we'd be like a virtual reality. Like, we'd be like standing next to each other, like sitting on a digital couch together. Oh, you know, cool. some shit like that. Fuck you. Yeah, I fucking But hey. like, it's kind of that idea of like, could you imagine, right? Like, I know we've done this and like we've been rolling and like we've kind of been finding our little shit and drinking and like, you know, mustache and long hair <laughs> and beard in and, you know, hoodie in and, you know, all the shit that we've been doing. All right. But like, if we did this shit for another like, how old are we? 35? 45 more years? That shit would be funny as hell. Dude, that's, that <laughs> would be what funny. If, <laughs> like, just the what if, like, by the time we're, like, 80, it finally takes off? <laughs> right. I don't know. It might be worth listening to if we were both 80. I don't know. Oh, shit. Spinoff pod, two grandpas chatting. We should try to, try to get that. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I like, I don't know if you do this, but I often will like be in public and I'll scout out old people, right? And I'll look for like the hippest old dudes and I'll be like, that's going to be me growing up. Oh, I do that. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, like tonight I I saw this dude rocking some fresh, some fresh sneakers. All right. He was rocking some fresh sneakers and then he was going through and he rocked like this dope ass flannel, but it was unbuttoned. Like he was chilling. And I was like, yeah, he had, he's silver Fox stout, you know? And I was like, I looked at Devery and I said, that's going to be me when I grow up. Right? <laughs> I'm going to be that hip dude, that happy hour chilling. <laughs> like I'm always scouting out the old dude being like, where's he at? Where's he at? Where's the cool that's old nice. guy? Yeah, there he is. Where's that's that me. old dude that's micro dosing? Where's he's just he at? Looking, he's just looking for direction. <laughs> that's, that's, you got to look for the goals, man. That's got to, that's got to look oh, for the goals. Oh, shit. 50, 58 minutes in, baby. What's up? We're going to get to four tonight? Do you have a fourth? I do, dude. And I can get there. All right. I can. And I do. I, I want to get there, honestly. 100 episodes, I, I feel like we could get there. Um, Doing the pod till we're eight, I, 80? I don't know. Might as well. I mean, to be honest with you, I would consider myself lucky if we were able to have an hour long conversation at least once a week for that long in our lives. If, if we were in positions in our life to, that were where we could still do this once a week, I would consider myself grateful to be able to have yeah. that friendship uh, for that long. So cheers to that and everything there. I'm on board. Like it's, you know, it's no sweat over here. We just drink beer and hang out and record it. So Totally fucking awesome I'm, <laughs> the prep you know, the I prep think, is easy you know and then you just got to put it in the pot and see what happens got to prep prep it and put it in the, yeah do you, i think uh, you know i don't think or i don't know not to get too like 
weird or anything. But like, you, get you know, I've known you. I've known you for a long time. Got the NyQuil. Let's get weird. And got the NyQuil. Take a shot. <laughs> take a shot of NyQuil. Let's get weird. Straight. Colu- that's a Columbia Heights. That's a shit shot. On- <laughs> I know my, my mom is like, Trace, as she listens to me say, yeah, there was once a time where you would take a shot of something and a shot of NyQuil and just see what happens. Just, you just get weird just, a little bit. It's all good. Just, just get weird. Sometimes... Sometimes your Space Jam blanket starts to play basketball. All right. Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes you know. the pizza on your Ninja Turtle blanket looks so good that you have to try to take a bite. <laughs> <laughs> and so your friends look over and you're just biting your blanket. And to them, to them you've lost it. But to you, you're like extra pepperoni. Never pay the <laughs> price for late pizza. No. <laughs> oh that's a great line um yeah dude i i don't think you uh you know realize the impact you've had on me as a friend over our journey as a uh, as humans you know that's like prob- i met you when i was street. like uh i was just a young knucklehead you know living in living in fulton missouri being Same. told that like oh Kenny, you you're gonna love Kenny, you know, and like, you know, our friendship moved me out to Utah. That's true. You know, multiple multiple times. Multiple I moved times. you out to Nebraska once. You That's know? true. That's true. We um, lived in Nebraska for a solid five months, a semester. Um, that's that was that was an experience, and I was glad. I'm glad I did that. Yeah, real quick too. Before we continue my sappy journey, I'm gonna fuck right here with this this last this fourth beer, dude. I'm just gonna do this, okay? Fourth beer because I'm feeling good. Uh, I'm feeling real fucking good, actually. <laughs> um, <laughs> Trace, uh, a, that's your mom. A, <laughs> that's my that mom. Trace. <laughs> <laughs> I know she's like, I can't believe you did. One time she got mad pissed because we were like, I was like a freshman in high school. We would like skateboard at one time and put Alka-Seltzer in our mouth and we would fake hit the fucking pole or like fake fall that act like we were seasoned, which is not funny in hindsight. But when you're like in the ninth grade, you're thinking you're funny and you're like putting on camera and she was like, you could have died. And it's like, we weren't swallowing it, you know, like, so Alka-Seltzer won't sh- kill you. Yeah, you know, exactly, Mo, exactly. But hey, um, Pop Works, <laughs> Love you, Mo. Urban Brewery, okay, yeah, Salmon Safe, um, out of uh, Portland, 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 Oregon, PNW 97202. Um, Buddha's Hand, I'm finishing off with Buddha's Hand here. Wonderful. Look at that. Look at, Look at those roots. It kind of reminds me of I Am Groot. Oh, it does. Yeah, I am yeah, Groot. a little bit in a way. Uh, uh, but yeah, I felt I felt this is a nice little fruited sour. I was going to end on a light note. Oh, oh yeah, light note as we <sighs> sunset off the podcast tonight. Yeah, man. But like on the real. Um, oh wait, no, you go, you go with your beer for beer for. No, on the real, go ahead because. Um, I gotta bring it back. Well, I'm the what real. Are you bringing Let it me back? Go. I'm bringing it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. I had an bring extra. Bring it back. I had it left. Had an extra. Made the sub. in the fridge. It's in the lineup tonight. Sub one. Number four. Number quattro. From Roosters Brewing Co. Cacao. The High Desert IPA. Oh, I like to get high dessert. Ooh, creamies. I'm having creamies after the show. What's speaking a creamy? of creamy. Speaking of desserts, you know how to get a creamy? Is that like an ice cream? Like an, ice, like cream an ice cream bar, like ice cream popsicle? You had mm. a creamy before? Probably. Maybe. I'm sure. I fucks with ice cream. Shout out to the McBees. Yo. Crepes yo, and shakes. Yo, let me ask you something. Yo, what's up? Holla at me. What would you do for a Klondike bar? Ooh. Besides, do some naughty things. Um, yeah, yeah. Besides know, that, I would, def- <laughs> I would definitely. 
Excluding, <laughs> excluding all naughty things. Excluding naughty sure things? Klondike because bar. the Klondike bar ain't worth that shit. Uh, like, you ain't gonna catch me out there doing anything for a fucking Klondike bar. That's for real. But I'd like mow your lawn for a Klondike bar. Oh, shit, dude. You available Tuesday? Yo, especially on a hot day. Like, if it was a hot Klondike day, I would, to- I would totally fuck with that. Because then that shit would be like, oh, huge. it's so fucking cold. Seriously yeah. debating a writing. You ain't got the writing? Day. Yeah, I was like, Seriously it, Kenny. Seriously debating it. You seem like you would be the guy with the solar powered riding lawnmower. All right. Um. Ooh. By ooh. the way, shout out to the finisher. I am grouped. Mm. I am grouped. Buddha's hand. Ah. Uh. Um, but yeah, dude. I I mean, Buddha, like Buddha, you know, hand. previously to what we were chatting about. Um. What were we chatting yeah, about? dude, you've been you've been super influential on my life, you know, man. Like you, oh yeah. Uh, I think, you know, I often refer refer. Uh, I don't. Oh man, I don't want this to come across sounding rude. You know, as we sunset off, we'll do this quick, okay? I'll try, <laughs> I'll do this quick, okay? But you no, know, like I live anyways, dude. I live. I lived. Uh, we lived together in. <laughs> 2009 2010 right like yeah and then i and then i went back home to, yep. to vegas for a little bit yeah and then i moved back right and when i moved back i moved back after 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 uh you know mrs richards after the after that happened right like yes after yeah. that weekend i was like oh man I, I gotta come back right like i just felt it like my soul felt like i need to be in utah right like so like you you've always gravitated me to utah right like i mean we've we've just been we've been like a fucking attached at the hip since we were yeah we were at the same level eight, we're like eight, oh 18 yeah, and right. 20 yeah, <laughs> yeah oh yeah all right, all right. <laughs> i still remember you playing at aliens in that fucking bathroom in that That's fraternity house up. That'd and I'm up. like in that tiny ass shower. You remember them tiny ass showers, yeah, man? Dude, bah, I was like, bah, oh, bah, shit. Bah, I'm cooler, oh. cooler than a polar cooler bear's than a polar toe. Bear's toe. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's right. And like, but like, you know, I came back because of the mom test, right? And I, I came up with this test on my mind because I always thought of our relationship and I always thought of. Like, you know, it's not only our relationship, but at the time it was like everybody I've ever met in Utah. It was, it was you, it was, was uh, Weed- Weedies, yeah. it was, you know, Pearson, it was, you know, mm-hmm. even Mike, it was uh, mm-hmm. uh, Tim Spencer, Tyler, yeah. it was the KG, the homies, KG. the, the uh, Dougie, it was all everybody, right? Like, and, and I always thought of this, this test, it was called the mom test. Right. And and my idea was that like if my mom landed at the airport and I couldn't pick her up, who could I trust to go pick her up? And I always thought of I don't know if remember that one time I got stranded at the airport. It was like two o'clock I'll pick in the moms morning. Up, I hit I hit you up. <laughs> you were there like fifteen minutes and I was like, Oh shit. And, uh, <laughs> like I just knew you, like bro. Utah's where I had to be and yeah. like it was always you. It was always like uh and because of you, you know, and like the homies, the crew that gravitated me back, you know, yep. I was able to meet like the person I'm with now, yep. you know, yep. my lady, Devery, like, and then like, you know, you guys have always, I always feel like you, specifically you, but like everybody else always propelled me to be the best overall human being I could be. And so like, it's a good support I group. I, I always make sure that you, I want to make sure you always know that like, you're not only like the homie homie, but like a very influential person and like the progress in my life and the evolution in my life has been based on our friendship and like uh, making sure I, I'm around you, you know? So like now we do this podcast, I'm sure my, and now I'm sure our moms are, are tearing up. They're like, oh my God, it's it's up. So but now we do this podcast and, and we're right. now every week, you know, even though we don't live in the same state, you know, I've been here for like two and a half years. Yep. You've been in Utah forever. And yeah, then I just like, live here. Yeah, you know, but I, I mean, I still love Utah, you know. <laughs> Utah's and dope. then like, uh, dope too. but yeah, you know, and like we just, but like, it's definitely my growth 
as a person is due to our friendship. So cheers to you, bro. Cheers, bro. I'd read to that. That's a two way street for sure, by the way. And, um, and that is, you know, I'm, that's, you mentioned the squad and the homies and that's, that's why I am the homies. Where I am as well because that was where this the, like you said that was where the support was that was where we grew that was where I we would we would coach each other all the time on everything and we would make each other better but like in a homies helping homies kind of way not straight in, up and it was all and it was never uh, out of any like need to get anything back and that was why it was so genuine and so i also um felt that in in this squad and group and was glad to be a part of that yeah dude i feel lucky you yeah. know like along the way to be like we i mean we got some homie homies you know like yeah. we got the squad rolls deep i mean if you I, we keep going with names you know you got the gornzilla Oh, it's always a solid. You can't, can't go without the Gorny. You know, even the Spencer brothers. <laughs> no, I still them. remember that turkey bowl. You Spencer, know, like, Spencer uh, Chris Spencer. Uh, yeah, it's just this uh, nice. Uh, it's when cool. you have good people around you, you know, and I know, like, I don't mean any disrespect to my Vegas folk, right? Like, I don't. That's not what I'm trying to say. Right. Like, I'm not trying to like when I'm talking about like Vinny, Vinny's not in that conversation. I would always trust Vinny to come pick up. It was just like the volume of people I could trust yep. was a lot greater in one area than it was in another. And I felt like in that time I was better as a human being in one area around these subset of people than like you, you guys helped the evolution where like, I felt like my growth was always being stunted in one area, you know? So like, yeah. you've got to find your path along the way. You got to associate yourself with the people you got to. And the, the thing, the, the other piece of the puzzle is like, I met Kenny in fucking Fulton, Missouri, like taking the risk of going to the middle of nowhere to meet like your greatest homie in life. You, you know, know. Who, who gives you even greater home, you know, greater homies, you know, like all That's exactly the, right, though. <laughs> the clan, the clan is strong, not you know, like Clint, when, when I mean clan, I'm talking Wu Tang clan, you know, yeah. I'm Wu Tang talking, is for the I'm not, children, I'm not talking, it, the other, it's right, yeah. though. That's right, though. Like, and you never, like, I didn't, I didn't go to Fulton, Missouri to play volleyball at William Woods thinking that I'd meet my dude, my homie, that I'd later do. 50 plus episodes of podcasting with and two homies chatting snowboard mountains with and golf on the reg with, you know, like you, you just never thought that at the time it was a chance for me to go and do the thing I like to do at the time. Um, and I was like, Oh, finally I have a good setter. Yeah. Let me, crush. <laughs> Let me hit this line. Let me hit this line. Oh, you, Oh, but you block cool. an angle line cross body. It's just, it's just cool. Body. You never know when you're going to meet your people. And that's what it was like. Like when we, when we met up, you know, in the fraternity house, I remember it, it was like over a couple of weeks. It was like, yeah, all right. All right, dude. All right. You're yeah. Oh, we were neighbors too. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is my guy. I walk out. Yeah. You'd be chilling at your desk <laughs> with this big ass literature book. Cause you were you were uh, I, that's what I were, like right that. an English major by back then. That's true. Um, I was always an English and, major. I just was never good at it. Yeah, that's a tough. It's tough. You know, I think I think if school was more designed towards our personalities, we would be really. It is good now. At it. it is now. <laughs> now it is. Now it is. But it now wasn't. It, it wasn't. Yeah, I gotta say, my thought was like, "Yo, I speak English, so like, I think I could graduate if I study English. We're good. I got a head start." Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. I I should have been like a fucking accountant or something like that. I was led wrong. Oh yeah, if I, I could do it again, it'd be MBA all the way. Yeah, I I, sh I should have done something. I should have done something smarter. But you know, Clark County. What uh <laughs> they don't teach you <laughs> they don't and now teach we're proud shit. and now we're proud that we can read beer cans. Yeah, but I'm proud of our effort, Ken, 
And the fact that we've been able to put out, I think this is like 53 or 54 episodes. I can't really know because we haven't numbered five, the last three. couple. It's 5-3, yeah. I think. Um, But yeah, I, you know, I, I'm just so proud of us. And I'm, you know, we've done this well. Uh, shout out to all the brewing companies that have pr- provided Quench Our Thirst. Um, Thank you for bean. the beer. Thank you for being a beer ear. Um, Podbean, uh, shout out. Syncaster, shout out. Spotify, Apple. If you're listening, um, Coles, uh, uh, Albanese, Haribo, yeah. mm-hmm. Wingstop. Wingstop. All sponsors One of the love. show. All sponsors of the show. Go check out Ken's taste test. On uh on, on the YouTube <laughs> channel, Yo, uh, if you're good, checking dude. out the blazed and glazed, uh, and, and what's happening at the wing stop on the 420 episode, I, I mean Earth Day, I mean Arbor Day. Arbor, by the uh, way, Earth Arbor Day. Day, Arbor Day is like this Friday by uh, tomorrow. It's Arbor Day, by the way. Yeah, bro. it's not Arbor Day. Earth Day was that day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But if you know, if you, you know. <laughs> Of course, I would get the days mixed up. Anyways, plant a, plant a fucking tree. Anyways, just do it, dude. Drink um, a beer. Buy local. Buy local. If go in- go support one local business this weekend. If you have listened to this podcast, please go support one local business. If you're in Utah County, drive by the Linden Walmart and across the street. In the parking lot of a pawn shop, there's a busted ass RV. Pull up in that parking lot. It's not going to feel right. But do it and go and get yourself some Greek food from that busted ass RV. It's really good. I recommend it. Get yourself a euro and a Greek salad and some fries. Don't forget the pita and hummus. Treat yourself. Got to get the hum. Got to get the hummus. Yeah, thanks sake, everybody. Sake we, oh, you do like that sake sauce, man. It's not Greek food aim for me. It, it it doesn't feel right in the insides once it's all you know, lamb. I, I don't know. Mm. I don't know. But uh yo, we appreciate everybody for always listening, supporting, keeping the vibe alive. Homies helping homies. Send this to your homie. Just be like, hey man. Yeah. And uh <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey man check out this pod dude you'll like this dude pod check it out i think you're gonna enjoy this pod guy two dudes two mics aka two homies chatting we appreciate y'all one love